viewers you're welcome once again to fairly vc geo world youtube channel if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and press the notification button in order for you to get updates whenever we upload a new video still on the tutorial on ArcGIS today I will be creating a composite band from multiple bands of Landsat imagery using ArcGIS and this band that I'm creating I will be needing it for land use land cover classification which I will use to generate the C factor of Russell model for soil estimation so let's get started Launch your ArcGIS, add data, so I already have a folder here, if you, so you just go to a folder of your choice and click on the bands required. I will be needing band 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 which I will be using for land use land cover classification those are the bands required for land use land cover classification that I want to do so I'll be selecting those band so select this band to band 7 so now after selecting all the band hard After adding all the band required, go to your Act Toolbox and click on Data Management Tools. Go to Raster, click on Raster, and go to Raster Processing. When you click on Raster Processing, you now go to composite band and this is where a dialog box will be displayed for you to so after clicking on the composite band here's the dialog box you have your input raster here so on the input raster you have to add all the bands you are having here In order to combine it into a single raster data set so you have to add it one after the you can see band one two three four five to seven so next two three four five six seven so be sure you have added all the data one two three four five six seven now you output raster you can name your output raster and here so i'm giving it a name composite just a short form composite band So it's just a search form. Okay. So you give it a name of your choice. You can see the raster band processing. I mean the composite band processing. So wait until all the bands are combined into a single data uh, a single raster data set. Okay, now we have a composite band. We have a single raster data set now. Now that we'll be working on this new composite band, all other bands are no longer required so we, it can be removed. So, when you click on all the three band color you are having here you can see we have band one band two band three to seven which has been combined so for you to 
For you to perform any analysis, different bank combinations are required for different analyses. So now, assuming you want to perform, um, you want to use this for land use, land cover classification, combining different colors such as uh, 432, which is our natural color where other things can be estimated. So 4, 3, 2. Now, from there, you'll be able to analyze whatever uh, things, information you want to. And as well, you can change it. Like for agriculture, you have your 6, 5, 2. 6, 5, 2. Now, this is for agriculture. In case you need anything on a crop and some other information related to agriculture, this different band combination, we can, it can present different objects in the image in the shades of color which can help to extract new information. And this new information I extracted based on the spectral signature of each object. So, in my next video, I'll be working on the land use land cover classification using this composite band image created. Thanks for watching.